Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to walk you through the entire process of unlocking bootloader of any Samsung device. Unlocking bootloader is a crucial step if you want to root your phone or want to install custom ROM on a device. But before you proceed, there are some important things you need to know. First, unlocking the bootloader will delete all your data, so make sure to take a backup before proceeding. Next, unlocking the bootloader will trip Samsung locks, which means you will lose a software feature like Samsung Pay and Secure Folder. Additionally, unlocking Samsung bootloader will also void your warranty and stop OT updates. So you will have to manually update your device. Also, if you are in North America and you don't have option uh, to enable OEM lock, uh, there is a restriction for US and Canadian model. And unfortunately, there is no way around it. Now, let's get started. So guys, for this video, I am using Samsung Galaxy S23. But the procedure is same for all Samsung devices. First, go to settings. Here, tap on software information and look for the build number. Tap on it 7 times until you see a message developer mode has been enabled. Now go back and here is our developer option. Uh, scroll down and search for OEM unlock. Here it is. But before you proceed, you might see a uh, data auto blocker is enabled, which can restrict some actions. If that is the case, go ahead and search for auto blocker and disable it. Now go back to developer option and here you need to enable two things OEM unlocking and USB debugging. OEM unlocking is an option that allows us to unlock the device bootloader and USB debugging option allows us uh, to communicate our device with the computer. Once both the options are enabled, go back to your settings and remove both Samsung account and Google account. This is an important step for safety. Uh, sometimes after unlocking the bootloader or performing some uh, certain action, the device can stuck on FRP. Once accounts are removed, and next also remove any pain or pattern you may have. This is not mandatory but it's a safety measure to avoid uh, potential issues. Now we are ready to boot our phone into the download mode. First connect your device with the PC and restart the phone. Once the Samsung logo disappears, quickly press both volume up and volume down button simultaneously until you see a warning screen about the custom OS. Here it is. Uh, now long press the volume up button to unlock the bootloader option. Next you will see an option to unlock the bootloader. Simply press the volume up button to confirm. Once you confirm, your device will automatically wipe all your data and bootloader will be unlocked. After confirming, your device will reboot and you will see a warning message on the boot screen, uh, which indicates that the bootloader is unlocked. Now let me quickly uh, set up the device. So yes, our device is now booted up. Uh, let me quickly open settings and enable developer option. Developer option is enabled, open it. And yes, as you can see, a message bootloader is already unlocked. Which means we have successfully unlocked the bootloader of our device. If you found this guide helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one. This is Jarvis signing off.